Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and in this video, we are going to discuss about the how do you test your APIs manually. We are basically going to discuss about the topics as well as the concepts that you need to learn before doing the manual API testing. All right, we are also going to discuss about the different tools in the market which will help you to do the manual testing, right? And very important question in the end, which is basically do company hire the manual API testers or not? We are going to research about on the different platforms like LinkedIn and we will see if they are hiring or not. All right, so let's get started. All right, guys, so uh, here we are. First of all, let's this 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 video is going to be very quick, guys, where we will be discussing about it and lots of different different uh, diagrams that I have included here. OK, first of all, uh, let me pull up my marker right here and uh, let, let's make it uh, black. OK, so here, if you know how API works is basically uh, you have so you have a client, right? You have a server, right? Client basically do a request and server basically reply to you, reply you, right? We call it response right this is clear for everyone right now let's jump to the second thing so now how do you do how basically you perform the manual api testing this is very important question uh for anyone who want to learn about the manual api testing okay it's very same guys uh, it's very same for example uh how do you do ba how basically you perform the manual testing you basically do the requirement analysis oh it's very big let me delete it you do the requirement analysis right and you the test you be then you basically plan your test cases you do the test cases development you basically do the execution part after that you start reporting the bug defect retesting is done and the regression testing and text closure right this is a process we call it like stlc which is software testing life cycle that you, that you have seen in personally right so this is the same process that you need to basically involve in the manual api testing also right this is very important i don't know why people don't know about it this okay so this is very clear right and what are the things that you can include okay so basically if you know uh, in api testing what we have is let me zoom out a little bit right so here give me one second yeah right so what you should know right so now let me pull up the marker again right uh little zoom little zoom for you guys so that you can understand right awesome i think it will be clear now right so again we have white box testing surface testing techniques and the gray box testing technique right so again the black box testing techniques whatever the black box testing techniques that we have learned right for example the boundary value equals partition fuzzing cause effect orthogonal array pair pair wise testing state transition decision table i think i have discussed seven important techniques in the one of the video i'm going to put the link below do check it out because that is very very helpful to test the apis manually okay and uh, it, these are the white box testing most of the time most of the time you will be doing the black box testing of the apis okay where functional test cases basically you need to take care right so let's jump let's jump into the second diagram which is basically see this is kind of a uh, this is actually a live uh, you can say a test case scenario template that i have basically going to include you can download in the description also here we have a similar process where we will basically writing the test case scenarios we are validating status code and different mechanism like this test cases i have not discussed here uh, you can uh, watch my another video uh, where we, i have discussed different types of test cases and apis but i'm just letting you know yes this is a similar template that you must have used in the manual testing of any of a web application right so similar thing that we are using in the apis all right so let's uh go down okay now the second question is basically the tools and the concept that you should know to be basically perform the manual api testing okay now let's jump into it so mostly if you see right first of all you need to see you need to basically learn about this which is basically different type of api testing we have functional test cases we have ui integration test cases we have load test cases contract based runtime error security test cases uh, ws compliance it's mostly related to soap uh, soap uh, api first testing and the penetration testing right and if you see we have a functional testing as well as couple of them are the known functional testing right so what you can do is here let me uh, pull go down right uh, let me zoom out a little bit okay here right if you see we have different types of testing for example in validation testing validation testing what we have is basically 
uh if the product build is correct or not right product behavior and efficiency so basically whatever the apis that are created right so developer will give you a confluence page or a jira ticket now you have to basically do the requirement analysis now you will do a validation test validation test basically means the product that they have built is correct or not based on the behavior and the efficiency right second thing is functional testing where majority of the task will be there manual testing manual api testing whoever is saying to write this is the concept they are saying basically ensuring that apis are performing as it is okay and they are basically uh, functional right low testing reliability first testing w clients and run time error these are the additional type of a uh, testing that you can include depending upon the in scope as well as the out of scope criteria you have to ask your stakeholder your developer if low testing is required or not if reliability testing is required or not uh, run time error is required or not because run time error is basically checking out the resource leak execution errors monitoring and error detection at a server level as well at a client level so those things we are basically taking care of right so again this mind map is already available so you can go through the all the definition of different things but you got the point right we have to do the requirement analysis then we have to prepare the test cases text execution bug reporting retesting and releasing the project this is actually the proper flow of manually test a api okay i hope this is clear now let's see what are the different tools available in the market right all right so there are number of tools available uh, we have soap ui we have uh, jmeter we have soap ui we have jmeter we have api g rest assured swagger postman and catalon i have basically marked two of them because these are mostly widely used tools and trust me if uh, you go by postman it's most of the time used for manual api testing right you can do the scripting also you can do you can create a automation scripts also in the postman but almost like 70 75% of the time you will be doing manual api testing using postman whatever the test case that you have created in the excel sheet right you are going to execute them in ui using postman and whatever the bugs are there you are going to report to the jira so that's how the flows goes so i think it's very very clear now that how you can basically perform i have shown you the test uh, requirement analysis how you can do the requirement analysis how you can prepare your test cases with the test case template test scenario templates and which are the tools that you can use okay now very important question which is uh, do company hire manual testers or not check this okay the first link is there let me open this and there is a second link also and uh, let me open this and first of all let's uh, let's see the this diagram okay here if you see companies like next wave mobile programming llc they are directly hiring api tester and they haven't mentioned about the any automation there okay to be honest and so here i am with so i have just searched api testing right now on my linkedin page and uh, i have just searched india as of now but you can do anything right for example for example here if you see experience on the rest apis kafka microservices testing and here they haven't mentioned about any automation okay so you are good to go right and if you go some other uh, some other uh, basically they, here they have mentioned the rest assured which basically means they need our api automation also right so similarly for uh, api testing jobs you can go through it and you can go through the list and you will find there is like 50 50% manual api testers are also uh, in the demand right now as well as the automation engineer also okay so i hope the, and this is a template i have given you in the diagram you can check it out all right guys so i think this is clear guys and uh, everything uh, that i basically wanted to tell you right now this is clear and guys uh, just make sure if you are interested in what uh, basically learning about the apis manual manually testing of api as well as automation right right now we are basically going to launch we are launch, we have launched a uh live classes where recording is available certification in uh, in the end we are going to cover five plus live projects as well as rest assured custom frameworks i have put lots of effort in this uh, uh, sessions right they, they are going to start on 16th of july live classes saturday sunday so do you don't have to worry if you're working right we have a one and a half hour or two hour session recordings available doubt sessions as well as the live projects okay this is the usp where we will be mostly handling the live projects we will be basically picking up some of the important websites which are right now uh, are i think unicorns of india and we are going to do the api testing for them okay so right now we are running a very discount right uh, we are running a extra discount you can use a promo code prom p r o m o d and you can sign up i will be happy to see you here and uh, let's become an api tester all right see you around